Well, my name is Robert Reed Truckenbrode, and I was born in Buffalo in 1921. Uh, I went to school 66 and Bennett High School in Buffalo, and then I studied, I, I specialized in art. So many of my friends and I uh, got, uh, got into flight schools. Uh, I enlisted in, in New York City and went back to Buffalo. Uh, and uh, See, I enlisted in uh, uh, right after this, my second year, which was like the end of May in 1942, that would be. Before I got in, uh, made my first combat raid, we, as we approached, our fighter planes went up and uh, participated in what was called the Marianas Turkey Shoot. And my one of my best pals in the fighter squadron shot down five zeros that day in one day and became an instant ace. <laughs> so that was, and it, you know, we were supposed to maintain radio silence, but there was none of that. It was like a, it was like a football game, you know. Like, hey, there's one in your tail. Oh, go, go ahead. And, hey, wait a minute. I got this one. Now wait a minute. I'm circling. I, I'm on his tail, and uh, and and we're sitting back in the ready room, going, cheering and yelling like it's in a, uh, like it's a baseball game. And I had seen uh, our, our army artillery, air, anti-aircraft artillery out of San Francisco shooting off uh, anti-aircraft things and seeing the puffs of smoke way down the way. And when we started in, those puffs of smoke were coming were right in front of me. And I said, oh my God, somebody could get hurt up here. So then we headed uh, north to Subic Bay and we're going to rendezvous. And the, uh, the overall strike leader called my skipper and said, anybody in your place, uh, your flight got any bombs left? And he said, yeah, I got one guy with two bombs. I said, well, hit that destroyer there. It's been damaged, but it's still operating. Uh, or go for that. And I went down, and I got two hits on that. Boom, boom. And put that out of commission. So I said, ooh, three bombs, three hits, two ships. <laughs> Pretty good. So they gave me a distinguished flying cross for that one. So you you got let's see first you put on your light uh, first you have to put on your pistol which is a shoulder holster, 38 police special, and then your life uh, <coughs> or your May West, then something else that was uncomfortable. And then your shoulder harness and seat belt, you know, and it was, oh, uh, and I got so tired of this, and this gun is sticking into my ribs and everything, and I, I was just going along like that, and I, oh, I'm going to shoot this thing, so I pulled a canopy back, and I shot, shot out the, out the side, bam, and all of a sudden I hear the, my gunner, you can, and you can feel it, where are they, where are they, he thought I had fired one of my, 50s and it jammed, and we were being attacked. I said, "Don't worry, Ski. It was just me shooting my 38." And he said, "Oh, okay." <laughs> well, uh, they told us, uh, you know, so many instructors. One was a uh, uh, hand-to-hand instructor, Ed Don George, the old wrestler from Buffalo, and uh, and Jack Dempsey was down at. They were both at the pre-flight school in North Carolina. But they've all said. Now we're going to teach you this jujitsu, but if you got a choice, run. <laughs> yeah. When, uh, oh, then toward the end of this tour of duty, then uh, in early December, uh, uh, Admiral Halsey was taking us up north, looking for the Jap another the Japanese fleet again, or one branch of it, and we get into a a typhoon, which was the scariest thing that, of the whole trip, because we had no smoke. Uh, we, uh, some of our airplanes broke loose, and uh, smoke went down the, the uh, ventilators into the engine room. We lost about three engineers; they got killed, and we were dead in the water. And we had no uh, gas mask or anything, so they sent us up on deck. So we're sitting on the on this deck, going like this. You know, and hanging on like this with the, they had little tie-down strips 
uh, and we spent three days like that, and that was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I wrote this out so that <clears throat> as a uh, a practice uh, obituary, so that she doesn't write Robert Truckenbroad or veteran, you know. I, I want to be known not as a war veteran in my obituary, but as an artist designer. <laughs>